Hey there, Christopher L. here. This video, I want to talk to you guys about obedience. I think there's a lot of confusion about obedience and a lot of leeway that people make for themselves. But it's something that should be sorted through so that we can truly understand what it means to be obedient. For instance, if I tell my child that I don't want them playing with the stove and my child doesn't want to play with the stove... So he doesn't, that's not really obedience, that's like-mindedness. If I tell my child not to play in the rain because he's going to bring mud into the house and yet he wants to play in the rain and still doesn't, that's truly obedience. Obedience is when we conform ourselves to the authority that we've found ourselves subjected to. It's when we accept what they say, even when we disagree. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is because I had a conversation with my son and his beautiful girlfriend about homosexuality after I posted the Amazon uh, Kindle video. And I have to tell you, apart from God, in a purely secular fashion, I see their logic and could almost agree with it. Uh, their position is, you know, it's better that homosexuals are in a committed relationship, uh, loving each other, love being the key word, um, than being uh, in a, a relationship with a woman where they're faking it or suffering in loneliness. And, and I can see their point. And in fact, if it wasn't for God, I think I would agree with their point. But the bottom line is, no matter how many revisionists try to change my mind, it's clear that God is against homosexuality. Now, that doesn't mean he doesn't love the people who are homosexual. And I can tell you, I have a lot of friends that are homosexual who I love dearly, who I would give my arm and leg for. But that doesn't mean I condone their lifestyle. It doesn't mean that I accept the way they were born any more than I accept the fact that there are things in me that I really am ashamed of. But out of obedience to Christ, I seek to conform myself to his teachings. Incidentally, for those of you out there who say Jesus never spoke on homosexuality, I just have to say he did indeed speak on it. It just wasn't a specific reference. When Jesus spoke against sexual immorality, we have to consider what sexual immorality was in his time. He was a first century Jew, and at that time, there was no way that a first century Jew would consider homosexuality anything but sexually immoral. So to say that Jesus would be okay with it is really to ignore the context and the truth of what he was actually stating. But I digress. The point is, Obedience isn't necessarily doing what I think is best. It's in doing what Jesus has told us is right. Even if we have any disagreement with him, it doesn't matter. True obedience means we conform to that. And that's what I do. I follow Jesus Christ. He is my leader, my Lord, my Savior, my Master. Atheists and unbelievers may say, well, you're not thinking for yourself. Don't be ridiculous. I've thought about it. Believe me, I've thought about it. But the fact of the matter is, I believe that I am ill-equipped to sort through all the mess that this world has become. And I have learned through prayer and scripture and experience. The best thing for me to do is to keep my eyes on Jesus Christ. Now, you might feel qualified. You might feel that you know better. You might feel that you don't need Christ. And I can't argue against that. The blind will follow the blind. And if that offends you, I'm sorry, but that's what the Bible teaches. But the blind follow the blind into a pit. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to be in that pit. I want to be with the Lord, who I love desperately because he is so amazing and awesome. My life in this world may not be that great. I mean, worldly people might look at how I live and go, wow, that guy's missing the boat. But while I might be missing the boat, I'm catching the plane. 
I'm flying high with the Lord. You know, if you're not a believer, but you're curious, seek him out. Talk to me. Talk to someone else who you know believes in Christ. Pick up a Bible. Check out the New Testament. Oh, don't get me wrong. You need to read the old one too, but I like to tell people to start in the new one. At any rate, until next time, happy Jesus Day. God bless and peace out.